say something. Hey, Diesel. Hi, Diesel. It's okay, bud. We were in the back of the truck. He's always in the back of the truck. Oh, yeah, the Coca Cola truck. Yeah, the Coca Cola truck. <sighs> Tammy, you want to say something? The world's most unaffectionate dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who's now affectionate? Yeah. You, know, you, you have, only, they have he, to be sick to be affectionate. Yeah, he's only affectionate to blondes. ADD. <laughs> Gonna go play with all the other dogs. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of room to run. I'm just gonna go hang out with Chrissy and Dino. How about that? You're gonna have a lot of room to run. That's gonna hurt. Do you show you've been my life? You saved me in so many ways. You've been my best friend. Always waiting for me. Always there in the morning. Always there at night when I come home. I just have to drive up. I can hear your five barks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> five barks all the time. I'm gonna miss saying your name. That's gonna be the hardest part. I'm gonna miss saying your name and no barking. No barking. God, I've said no barking probably a trillion, quadrillion, million times. God, you've changed my life, Diesel. You're a miracle to me. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, Kyle, for giving me such a great gift to my life. <laughs> Thank you, Loki. Loki lived with us for a bunch of times, so Loki was his roommate. Loki has a giant pit bull named Bishop. We couldn't put them together. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel would always get in a fight. Diesel was a little scrapper. <sighs> he got in a fight. Me and Tammy right here, Kyle. I see. We we crazy glued that together. <laughs> <laughs> what how this one? I was holding down and you were gluing yeah. the other way. I can't remember. And he just took it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I think it's been longer than 13 years though. I opened the store in 99. I think you got them from me in 2000. 2004, wasn't it? No, I went out of business in 02. Oh really? Because the only record I have is a picture from 2004. Yeah, because I didn't have digital cameras yet. It was still film. So I it, nothing... This is a Polaroid. Yeah. So I opened the store in 99. I got them in around 2000, 2001. I closed a year to the date after September 11th. So you got them from me. And if you got them from me when I was already closing, when I had the liquidation center, then it was 2002. So that 2002 to 2016 would make him 14, plus however old he was when you got him, which was what, about six months maybe? Eight months? Yeah. So I, had that, I had to convince Kyle. So I would make him about 14 and a half. Kyle wasn't coming over. I called him so many times. I just tried, I was ignored you. I would run. <laughs> I, I would shut the liquidation And I kept center. calling him. Like, I was like, I'm going to get this dog. And then he comes over finally, and Diesel's this little tank with this gigantic head yeah. and a one row collar with spikes. He's a pit bull. And with pit bulls, I'm extra vigilant. But when somebody's that persistent, you know they're going to be a good dog owner. Because when I turn people away and I don't hear from them, I'm like, they didn't want them that bad. Yeah. And Wagner went back to my store and my staff called me and said, you got to give this guy this dog, seriously. Yeah, I went to the store. And the girls, girls and called And Brutus me. was there. I was like, fuck that, man. Brutus was intense. I was like, give me the little guy. Don and uh, Nicola called me and said, give him the dog. Give him a chance. I think he's a good guy. 
Yeah. Brett, you want to say something? I guess I could say that uh, Wagner had two sides to his personality. There was Diesel and there was Darla. Darla was the the id, and Diesel was the super ego, the pensive side. I was on Splash him uh, out at the out on the, out on the town. That was Darla. <laughs> Ankle biter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is there a pit bull without his shoes? I don't think so. <laughs> How many times did you bite your ankle, Loki? Oh, yeah. Darla? She hey, bite her? Yeah. They bite See, every dog's once she, once she wanted the uh, respect, you had to acknowledge her when you came in the room. Wow. If not, she you walked you. by, and then she snapped you if you didn't acknowledge her presence. <laughs> a nip or she gets you? Yeah. <laughs> is it a nip or does she? Oh, she got you. Well, it was, it was, it was, it was a nip, people. but as soon as I turned around and, okay, pet her, then I was like, whoa, that, that's all she wanted was... To be acknowledged. Interesting. Nice way of acknowledging. Yeah. My, my girlfriend's like that. Okay. <laughs> she bites your ankles yeah. or you don't? <laughs> uh, uh, mine just goes in my wallet. I guess same, same thing. Or out of your wallet. Yeah. Uh, Diesel, man. He's a good boy. I'm so glad my phone was on, man. Whew. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I love this dog. I love his story. We'll make a nice tribute. Wherever they all went together, it was a scene. It was like a, like a chuck wagon. <laughs> Two dogs pulling him with leather belts. I had no digital. I remember I, ran, I remember I got my first digital camera when they came out. I ran. It was ridiculously priced at Staples across the street from my store. I had a sale. Went up running and started snapping photos of him with with uh, Brooklyn, my blue pit. Yeah. Jumping, leaping in the air. The the weed was only this side, but Diesel felt necessary to go this side to get over it. Yeah. He would just he wouldn't <laughs> yeah. stay on the trail. He would go off the trail, and then come through the side of the mountain, and then come back. And down then come and down, and he would take these scenic routes of running while we're on the trail. Through and everything, just through it. Wagner and I were young and in shape. God, man. I love this dog so much. You get another one? Well, you got Darla. I got Darla. All right. I think... Uh, one in... Uh, this is a statistic, I just want to say. In the United States, one of every 600 pit bulls stays in its home. Forever. That's one in six hundred. Yeah, that's, that's an SBA statistic. Oh well, it's he, real. he got out lots of times. No, no, I mean, <laughs> stay, I mean, say doesn't get put down, doesn't get rehomed, doesn't get given away, doesn't get. That's a that's an amazing statistic. Oh, one man. in six hundred is crazy. All right, let's grab let's grab one of the uh, that text. You know, grab yeah. One. I remember. Uh, up in Runyon Canyon, I had him on my leash, and we were on that second little tower thing where the benches are, and I had Darla on one leash and him on the other, and then he busted it and started chasing this dog in a circle on top of that thing, and then I'm chasing him with Darla going the other way. It was this cloud of dust that we created in a circle. <sighs> He's so Sounds about right. Euthanasia has two steps. One is sedation, and the second one is injection of euthanasia solution. Um, when this one goes in, it stops a heartbeat immediately. Okay? Um, and after this uh, heartbeat stops, we sometimes see muscle twitching or egg on breathing, but that doesn't mean that uh, the patient is alive. Okay? Don't, don't let it freak out. Yeah. Can, I, can I like hold yeah, him? You yeah, can do whatever you want. Like, yeah. how? Just let him, let, him, let him get to his paw. On the edge there. Somebody hold his head up. So why don't you come over here and hold his head? Because when he injects it, he's gonna, his head's going to drop. And then you look. Wait, just wait, wait, wait. This is just the sedative, Wag. This is just. I know, I know. Hold on.
I let him inject him, okay? so fast no one's gonna catch you okay. no one's gonna ever catch you diesel let me check his okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. on my rear view mirror. Hang on my rear view mirror. I keep them around the box. Yeah. 